security. But we gotta go potty first. Woo! Doggy potty. Okay, it is 4.50 and our flight leaves at 5.30. So we have enough time for him to come, take him to the bathroom, and then get on our flight. I think we have a stop in Atlanta. Uh, I think it's a one hour connection flight. So that's good. This is the Jacksonville airport and they have so far the best doggy bathroom that we've been to and we've been to a couple. They even have like a kitty litter for our kitties but um, yeah. This is the biggest one because normally they're really small and they're literally just like the size of like three by five. I had put his name tag on um, because I thought it was going to be very cute. actually very annoying so we're gonna take it off okay I think I got it oh. <laughs> got it off I'm gonna stick it in your bag very empty today. I hope it stays this way because I really don't want to have to sit next to someone with him. Even though a lot of people aren't nice about it. It still makes me nervous. So, A9. Just made it to Atlanta. Here is the dog bathroom in Atlanta. This one's also nice, but see how it's a lot smaller than the one at the Jacksonville airport. And so it's a lot harder for him to pee on these just cause it's so small and it's it smells like dog everywhere, but this one doesn't smell that bad normally. They stink really bad if they're this small. Now we just wait. I have a whole, almost an hour till the next flight. And then we'll be in camp. Come here. Yeah. Okay, last time. Good boy. I really want coffee and there's a caribou over there. Right there. But do I need it? It's only six. 48. <laughs> I fear that we may not be able to manage our water. They gave us a fish, bitch. 
when I was young, I would hate fish. I'm gonna try it and see if I still hate it. Taste test. I'm dang. I still don't like them. I'm out of breath because this mask and uh, I already I get really stressed out like flying going through the airport and it's not the flying part that I'm nervous about it's the process like making to the airport on time I've had I have a lot of uh, very flying horror stories like I have such bad luck flying that I've gone left in other states like multiple times I've missed my flights and not just because of, it wasn't my fault or anything my first flight just always gets delayed and I end up missing my second flight. And oh my gosh. One time, I just clocked, not clocked in. I checked in like literally a minute late and they didn't let me get on my flight. I had to buy a whole another ticket. Which is annoying. The flight does not look that bad. So hopefully it stays out. And I hope no one sits next to me. That's like the thing everyone wishes for it, is that no one sits next to it. Especially when I have Samson. Like, I hate sitting next to someone. Hey, come over here. Do you want more water? <laughs> Brought him to go to the bathroom one more time before we get on the plane. We made it to Kansas. It's the next day. Um, when I got here, we got really busy and just had to go get ready for a gender reveal that we were going to, or that we did. The flight went a whole lot better than I always anticipate because I have like flying anxiety <laughs> or stress, I don't know. Um, it's not about like missing the flight or anything. Well, I mean, yeah, it is about missing the flight. It's not about the actual flying. It's more getting there, getting through the security. And that's another thing. I'm always so scared that I might have pack something wrong and they're gonna like pull me aside and have to check me one time they had a um especially when you have a dog they have to like swipe your hands i'm not i don't know what they're checking for i'm thinking some like drugs and or something <laughs> i don't know they had like pulled me aside for um do like a more extensive search so that was just are wrecking the change locations because the sun was getting bright but i hope you guys like this video and a little bit of how i travel with samson and i'll see you guys on my next one bye